Hey Travis, this is Rebecca Lane, your public speaking instructor, and I want to give you some feedback on your TED Talk assignment. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about your setup. After I talk about your setup, I'm going to play some of your video, then I'm going to pause it, then I'm going to talk, then I'm going to play some more of your video, and then I'll pause it and talk, wash and rinse, repeat, stuff like that. Okay, so let's get started. Very first thing is um, I love how you've started to find a blank wall. This is a good start. I'd love it if you could shift the focus a little bit more so we get this door out of the way so you've just got this really uh, clean blank wall. Um, I would love it if you lit yourself a little bit more brightly. So um, one of the things that I think you can do, uh, like I've got a lamp over here, but I also have a lamp shining directly at my face. It's one of those big pole lamps with the three bulbs that kind of stick up and you can, you can move them around. And I've got all three of those bulbs shining directly at my face. It feels a little bit awkward uh, because, well, they're really bright and they're in my eyes. But it helps us see me. And so I would like to see you a little bit more. Um, one of the things it looks like you're doing is it looks like you're leaning back into your chair. Like you can see how your arms are kind of leaning back behind your torso. Stuff like that. That's cool for just kind of chilling out in your room. However, it doesn't make you look quite as professional. So uh, when, I, when I am doing this, I'm sitting on the very edge of my seat. And I'm standing up and it allows me to use my hand gestures. It makes me look a lot more professional. Okay, finally, what I'd like to see you do is it looks like you're looking down at your camera. So you see how you're looking in that direction. In order to open up your eyeballs, what I'd like you to do is set your computer, set your camera at a level that is higher than your face. So I've got this rigged in my setup. I've got a desk in front of me. I've got a cardboard, a tall cardboard box on the desk. And then I set my computer on top of the cardboard box. And that way I'm actually looking up at my camera. And that's going to help you out. That's going to give you a lot a lot. Um, it's going to open you up more. And uh, by open you up, I mean it, it opens up your eyes because your eyelids will be uh, open more, so we'll see more of your eyes. Uh, it's going to help you sit up straight because you'll be trying to connect with that thing that is up above you as opposed to something that's down below. Stuff like that. And I'd also like to see you use your hand gestures, so really make sure that you've got from the bottom of your ribcage up to the top of your head. Uh, right now you're like mid rib cage to the top of your head. So open this up a little more. I want to see more hand gestures. Okay, so let's play this and see what you've got. Hello, my name is Travis Sweet, and this is a video for public speaking. Okay, so the very first thing that becomes really apparent is that this computer is pa probably on your lap. Because I see that you are shifting back and forth and that's moving with you. That is not okay. Uh, really make sure that your computer is placed on a separate platform from you. In online. I watched a TED Talk by... Mr. James Flynn, he talked about how on average... Okay, so the next thing, I want to call your attention to the directions in the TED Talk evaluation. See here it says develop a speaking outline. If you click on that link, it takes you to this web page. And this web page talks about an introduction. Now if you look back at your reading that was assigned for week one, you will notice that it talks about open with impact or attention getters. And so those attention getters could include a question, it could include a shocking statement, a statistic, any of those things should be the very, very first thing out of your mouth. All right? So make sure that you do that. All right, moving forward. Average a century ago, people had lower IQs than they do today. It was able to keep their attention by telling stories about uh, situations he's heard where when introduced to a hypothetical scenario, people back then just would shrug it off and say, well, that could never happen in real life, so it doesn't really matter. They were not really focused on anything. I love how you're using hand gestures. I'd like to see them. If you adjust your setup so it's more like this, we'll be able to see that. Thing. Like... Uh, Do you see how when you open your eyes up, it's easier to connect with you? It, it feels like you're more open? I need to see that much more frequently. Uh, Mentally, just everything physical around them was all that matters. But also, do you see how your eyes are in shadow, so it's hard to see your eyes in the first place? So, uh, that's a problem. Make sure that you're lighting your face so that uh, you're not in shadow. If you set your computer up like I've done here, then that's going to take the shadow off of your eyes. Okay? Back to them. And I think he, he, kept, the, his, he kept his audience engaged by doing that. And the... One ten ten Ted commandment that he followed, I think, was he threw in a couple of jokes, kept them talking. He didn't really use any hand gestures a lot that much. He just kept his hands behind. His I love that you're using vocabulary words from the delivery lecture. Nice work. Back, and I think if I were to compare him to Sir Ken Robbins, or, or Ken Sir Ken Robinson, uh, Ken Robinson definitely used more verbal fillers than he did, but he was able to. 
I think keep his audience a little more engaged through laughter. Okay, so one of the things that you're doing is you're ending your sentences in upward pitches. So what that does is it makes you sound less sure, less confident. So one of the things I'd like to hear you do is end your sentences in downward pitches. So do you hear less uh, laughter, more ba da da? Let's listen to this one more time. Engage to laughter. Laughter. And I think if I were to evaluate um, James Flynn, I would give him a four out of five. A four out of five? Did you hear how you did that? And so that just makes you sound less sure. Just because even though he was very articulate, he didn't really um, express a lot of emotion or, or use a lot of hand gestures. What Okay, so what I'm seeing you do is you're making a lot of claims, and so that's the start of your evaluation. The, the way to wrap that up is to give us a specific example from the video. So tell us, tell us about a moment where he didn't use gestures where he could have. Tell us about a moment where uh, he did tell a joke and it worked and he could have used more like that. Um, so really make sure you are uh, giving us specific examples that go along with the claims that you were making. All right, Travis, you're off to a good start. You've got some changes that you need to make, but I think that you, uh, you're you gonna be able to grow a lot this month, all right? So I'm looking forward to, to seeing where you go from here. Let me know if you have questions. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.